good morning and welcome to the channel. Today we are uh, going down to Maryland for something really special and I can't wait to share it with you. Really should have uh, put my car in stealth mode last night because I backed it into the garage. Um, this is going to be really loud, especially for the Bulldogs inside. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave the roof off today because it's really nice, so here we go. Chriswell Chevrolet in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Not uh, the best trip of my life, but uh, hey, we made it. And look, a yellow Z06. So this is where I bought my car, this car here, um, a little over a year ago, believe it or not. And it's cool to be back. First time I've been back uh, since I bought the car, but let's go in and see Mike. Black Rose Metallic. I moved uh, spots because I figured I was kind of in the way of people coming in. Look at that, in Aston. Huh. As you can see, they got plenty of Corvettes to choose from. So if you need one, if you're in the market, contact Mike. We're going to see him here in a second. What's up, buddy? Doctor, how are you? How are you? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Absolutely. I was just saying on the uh, on the vlog, it's been just over a year I since I bought the uh, Z06. I remember the pictures that you took and the videos and yeah. everything else. It was awesome. Did you ever think it was going to go through this much when you sold it to me? You know, the interesting thing is you've probably, not even counting the videos, but you've probably gotten more out of that car than anybody else that bought one oh, yeah. in one year's time. <laughs> Definitely. It's silly. We just hit uh, 13,000, like 20 miles on the way here. Did you? Yep, so almost 15K in a year. It's not bad for a vet. Not bad at all. I'm trying to get the miles on. That's unusual because I think the average is like two to 3,000. I'm sure, feet, yeah. Two to 3,000 miles. I was just telling everybody, by the way, you got plenty of Corvettes here, so if they... Well, Need I, one, contact you. I got about 80 on the ground here, and, and we have two other sites where we keep them uh, underground, and uh, we have another, I think, uh, 70. 70 oh my 80. God. So, so we plenty have about of 150 them. total. Well, Mike's contact info will be down below. Check them out. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I, I'm pretty sure that whatever spec you can dream of, they're going to have something close. Look at the back. Wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like in videos and pictures, I was like, I'm not sure about this, but it looks really cool. Look at all the pieces here where it says Callaway. I don't know if you can see it in the shade. Carbon fiber. Yeah. It's so a little heavier. Go, yeah, because of, um, look at all the weight. Yeah. So in other words, it doesn't pop. But if you can see this, <laughs> see it's all carbon fiber. Look at that. And this is carbon fiber. I love the uh, center exit exhaust. How about the wheels? Yeah. I love these uh, black chrome wheels. You see the Callaway? This thing's awesome, man. That looks so cool. There's a few thousand miles on this because they what they've been doing it's is like their taking demo it to car? different Callaway dealers. And the, I just saw it about three weeks ago down in Kentucky at the uh, Bash, the Corvette Bash. Okay. So it was there on display for three or four days. And uh, I tell you, I think there was more pictures taken of this than most any car there. I'm sure. This thing's badass. I have to say, like in person, it just, like I said, it looks so much cooler. Little oh. exposed uh, supercharger lid on there. Callaway car. You see, this is all exposed carbon fiber, too. Is it? I thought it was glass. It looked like a glass, but it's not. The glass is back here. Oh, wow. Arrow wagon. The arrow wagon. Just keep it under 170 today. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs>
about that hood. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I love the exposed uh, supercharger cover. cool about this is this is the exact seat that Jay Leno sat in to drive this so I feel like uh, kind of automotive royalty right now and many other luminaries believe me yeah I don't know if your man Ed Wellborn's been in it yeah Ed <laughs> I don't know Ed's such a cool guy too and oh, I, he's a car guy yeah he is when I uh, went out there to meet him I was like real nervous and I was like oh my god you know I've never been to a big meeting before how's this gonna go but he was just the most he's very down relaxed down yeah just made me feel right at home one of my customers is very very good friends with him I got a couple good stories for you about that <laughs> he went out for Starbucks uh, probably six months ago just to pick up a coffee he was on vacation in yep. uh, Northern California runs into Reggie Jackson yeah, and, and then he, he just going Corvette and, and he bought their 57 <laughs> Corvette silver with red. He just had to have it because that's his color scheme. What's interesting is the view out the rear view mirror here. A little narrow. Yeah, a little bit, but not not honestly, not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. There goes one. Yeah, they're all over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you would never know unless you get on it. Then of course, you know, that it has 757 horsepower. So this is, you know, over a hundred more than stock and it drives great. And you can really feel, it feels quicker than that, honestly, because the I mean, 757, yeah. yeah, they're, they're talking crank horsepower, right? Not wheel. Correct. So it feels, compared to a stock one, it feels really fast. So they might be undercutting that power estimate a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well, this was definitely a cool experience. So, Mike, if I want one, which I got to tell you, I kind of do now. <laughs> how much am I looking at? Uh, additional is fourteen nine ninety five for the uh, Aero Wagon version. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, and then you obviously got to do the seven fifty seven, which is another seventeen. So. Okay. But it's one of you know you'll have one of one at the car show. You go right, to, right. It's an instant car show. You open up the hood and you're, it's it. Oh, definitely. Right here. Oh, right here. Well, that's not bad at all. So if I wanted to, could I do it to my car without doing the 757 package? Yep. Oh, so there you go. So for 14 grand, I could have the Aero Wagon on my car with Lambo doors and all. Correct. So I feel like this is the most logical next step to get my car even cooler. Or wait for your next one <laughs> and do it to the next one. The ZR1? Yep. Now that would be something. Callaway is going to have their 30th anniversary at uh, Carlisle this year. Oh, this so year? They're going to have a special tent an area where all the Callaway cars are going to be um, parked. Well, I'll be there. And it's awesome. They did it on the 25th anniversary back in 2012, and they had a lot of great vehicles there, um, probably 30, 40 Callaways, and they come from all over the country, Arkansas, you name it. So are you going to be at that booth, or are you going to be at your own booth? Both. You're going to they're be only 100 feet away, so Spring Mountain, there, uh, yeah. Racetrack, I'll be at, and uh, then you got the Callaway booth, so I'll be bouncing back and forth. Yeah, I'll be coming around to see you, as always. Yeah, Corvette's at Carlisle, great show. I'll put the information for that down below as well. Definitely come out if you can. Biggest uh, Corvette show in the world, I think. Yeah, over 5,000 Corvettes, over 100 acres. Uh, Lance Miller and his team are second to none. They are phenomenal. Absolutely. They do a great job. Their customer service, it's like they all went through the Disney school. They're phenomenal. <laughs> this is the kind of great guy that Mike is. Uh, this is his day off. And <laughs> I wondered if I could come down and check this car out. And he's like, okay, I'll come in for you today. Coming in on a Friday, just for me, buddy. Gave up my golf buddies for Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, now I owe you. Nah. <laughs> I enjoy watching your videos very much. Well, I'm already a lifetime Corvette buyer from you now, so. <laughs> and, and you're a lot younger than the average lifetime. Yeah, you got, me for, you got me for a long time, so we're good to go. This um, July 26th will be the start of my 40th year selling Corvettes. 40 years. 40 years selling Corvettes. And how many? You just hit uh, what? Four thousand, I think, right? Hit, I'm gonna hit four thousand probably by the end of the year, January, somewhere around there. That's all. Awesome. delivered, and about another eight thousand others. Just a few. Just a few. Yeah, four thousand <laughs> Corvettes sold. I first called Mike just out of the blue. I saw your name on a car forum, on a Corvette forum, and That's right. people said Mike's a great guy, so I called him. First of all, I couldn't believe you returned my call because yeah. I know that you got about a million customers. I get a lot of calls. Yeah. I get about uh, hundred emails a day and about forty it. calls. Oh, pulling somebody over, not us. <laughs> the dump truck. 
pulling over. Yeah, he's pulling over the dump truck. The, the garbage truck. Perfect. Thanks for the ride. And uh, now I really want to spend 15 grand. <laughs> I don't blame you. What job you're on? What's your employer's name? Hard at work selling cars. Um, so a huge thank you to Mike, of course, sitting over there. Um, contact him for all of your Corvette needs. He just parked the Aero Wagon back over here. Um, but a big thank you to him and Chris Well Chevrolet for this awesome day. I mean, I can't imagine. Look at this collector's edition Grand Sport getting ready to be delivered, I'm sure. I can't just, I could talk all day about these cars, but um, yeah, big thank you to them. This dealership is great. Mike, of course, is great. Hit them up if you need anything as far as getting your Corvette is concerned. And there it is, the Aero Wagon, one of the coolest Corvettes I've seen and I mean that and this is again I did not really like it that much in pictures and on video, but trust me trust me It looks way better in person. Here's the deal if this video gets 50,000 likes and I am making it a lot so that it's hard If this video gets 50,000 likes I will buy the aero wagon kit for my vet I hope that you guys enjoyed this video whoop if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe take care. Have a great day Oh, I love how the door has a little cut at like oh, it's like a uh, part of the roof. It's like a Mercedes Goldwing. Yeah. This is a copy of the original window sticker. <laughs> Fifty years old. God, that's awesome. Fifty-five hundred bucks. And he said it has power windows and all. Watch your window. I can't. How I didn't even know that, that was a thing. Yeah, that is fast. That's Super faster rare. than my car. This is a factory order for a guy out of New Jersey from Surf Chevrolet. Okay. Perfect name for. It. Surf Chevrolet. Yeah. You know what? It drives really nice though. Oh, yeah. It feels good. I live, this is the country right out here, so it's a lot of horse farms and everything, and I drive out here all the time. <laughs> so, handling wise, how is it? You know, it's got radial tires on it instead of poly glass tires. Okay. So, that helps tremendously but it's nothing compared to the cars of today, but I love going back in time. And when I drive this, I feel like it's 1967 yeah. all over again. I was only seven in 1967, but. You can only imagine like how cool this was back uh, in the day. And Well, it was a $5,500 car when your average car probably cost 1,900 bucks, like a sedan, like yeah. a family car. So many more refinements on a 67 versus a 63 or four much nicer interior door panels like it feels really solid this oh, yeah. car air blows cold everything i can't believe yeah i can't believe power windows and air conditioning and an old m5 so it's a speed reminder that beeps if you're going too fast yep it's called speed minder you set it whatever um, mile per hour you want that's awesome that's an option so this thing has all the optional extras, it's, this car, this back here. Yeah. And I've got the Protecto plate, the original owner's manual, uh, <laughs> all the manuals for it, the original window sticker, original purchase order when the guy ordered the car in 1966. Really? Oh, that's cool. The car was built December of 66. Uh, 51 years old, coming up on 51 years. Yeah. I actually took delivery of it on the 50th anniversary of it being built. Now, where did you get this? Uh, it came out of a collection out of uh, uh, Texas. Okay. And uh, I got it through a, an old Corvette dealer in uh, Ohio. And I traded them my 67 convertible, which was all original, for this. Do you like this better? You know, I like the coupe body style, the look. Yeah. You know, that boat tail look on the back is yeah, just I love awesome. That. And plus, it gives me a little bit of a trunk here. It's a big, I think it's a pretty yeah. big trunk. I can fit my golf clubs in there. Absolutely, that's all you need. Do you like this better than modern ones? Or you is know, it just different? Different, you know? Um, totally different ride, obviously. Yeah. A lot less horsepower and torque and handling and cornering. But it's just cool to go back in time and drive this. Yeah. And we were getting a lot of looks out on the road, too. This thing oh, breaks next. Everybody stares. It breaks next in its own way. Uh, in, a, in a very different way than that car over there. Oh, yeah. Kind of like a 300 SL or a 4 GT with the roof cut out. I and didn't. Back yeah, I didn't realize they had that. Design. See this? Bill Mitchell was the designer. That's awesome. You want to see something cool? Watch this. Yeah, let's see it. Is that the gas? 
all the way you can see the gas right there. <laughs> don't drop it in there. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, don't ever drop anything in there.